Greetings, dear viewers. So this video, heads up, is being recorded the same day as the previous video, effectively immediately after the previous video. All I did was put it in my editor, get it the way I want it, make a thumbnail, and then prepare it for rendering, which I will do in a bit. Why am I playing this game twice in one day, you may ask yourself. Well, number one, because it's that good. And number two, 40 minutes of Formicarium only gameplay was not enough to slake my lust for this game. So we're going to do a mission, man. We are going to do a mission. Let's do a mission. Let's do a mission. You can hear the excitement in my voice. I can hear the excitement in my voice. Let's do a mission. Um, 3.2, the second one. Frontline. This is a gateway mission. That's for Macarium 3. We won't worry about that. Frontline. What is this? When an ant army is on the march, everything is on the menu. Wait a minute, but this is still Atacephalotus. This is still leaf cutters. When an ant army is on the march, everything is on the menu. So does this mean there's going to be an opposing ant colony coming to actually attack us this time? Sounds fun. Let's hit medium. Let's go with our... You know what? Maybe we'll try the stun ants this time. You know what? Why not? Why not give them a try? Um, Good rewards coming in. Let's go. Let's find out what happens. Do I need to pour more coffee? Oh, no. I should have done this ahead of time. I should have done this ahead of time. Is my coffee even hot right now? I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. It's not, but you know what? I'm okay with that. It's kind of like, oh, whatever. What? What is this? We, we start this off. This small leafcutter colony has established a foothold in a clearing near the base of a tree. Their location provides prime access to lucrative harvesting grounds, which have gone unchallenged for the past few weeks. However, unbeknownst to the ants, the peace is about to be broken. A scourge is drawing in. It will be here by morning. Whoa! Will it now? Very well then. So we have a we have a group one already. This is the exit. This time it goes out that way. And let's see, that's my worker pod, and that is my uh, media ant pod. We're going to need to change things up a little bit here. Oh no, I don't like that, but that's okay. We're gonna go like this. One, two, three, four, two, two. Actually, stop, stop, stop. Cutting out that way, and then that'll be the empty tile, which means we're gonna go like this. That will be the refuse tile for that pod. Um, actually, we can kind of do something interesting here. We can go like... We can connect both of these to the to our refuse pile. Hmm, I wonder if that's a good idea. Uh, either way, we need leaves coming in, so we need leaf stores. Let's put down a leaf store, again, close to the entrance. Uh, is that the best idea? I'm not sure. we got stuff back here that we can work with. Let's have group one begin bringing that stuff back once the leaf store is placed down. And it has been. Let's keep going. Yeah, let's just stuff them all the way in the back if we have to, huh? There we go. Now we have guys coming back from the trail. Might want a refuse pile, a, a, a general purpose. Oh my God, there's so much stuff out here right now. We got the daddy long legs. Okay, so there's a force coming by morning. Leaf stores are full. Let's make our refuse piles first of all. Oh, they're gonna carry these straight through here. Are these minims? I believe these are minims. I don't think we'll have any need for our workers to do that. I kind of don't want this to be a, a refuse pile anymore. We want it more out of the way. Uh, group one, get in here. Let's start clearing this stuff. Group one, come here. Gather, please. You have your own group of workers that can tear this down. Let's take out these rove the coach horses. The larvae pose a serious threat to the minim workers. They will need to be exterminated quickly. Yeah. We know. Let's get in here now. Just gonna clear some of these guys out. We got refuse here. That's good. We have places to store that stuff. That's really good. This one needs its own there little refuse area. What, really, already? Oh, no, it's these guys. What is this? That is a different kind of spider with huge legs. 
This whip spiderling is most deadly at medium range and will try to keep enemies there by repositioning themselves during combat. Oh, but you got nowhere to run, do you? I think that's intentional. That's a, that's good game design right there, that the first enemy that you encounter can't use its own strengths to its fullest potential, but you can still see its strengths demonstrated. That way you know how to deal with them in the future, and the first one you encounter is basically a freebie. That's kind of, that, that's really good game design. It teaches the player what the enemy is without having to tell them. And this game actually does the other thing where you have an optional tooltip, which just straight up tells you too. And it's an optional tooltip, so it's not like it's holding your hand. That's soup. This is this was this was 100% done totally correctly. The ants have uncovered a heterophrenus battersea whip spider that is, beneath the leaf. That is too much. This unnerving arachnid feels its way through the undergrowth with modified antenna-like forelegs. When it finds a target, it snatches forward with enormous pedipalps, impaling its victim on deadly spines. Pedipalps, you say? The pedipalps. <laughs> we must be, be wary of the pedipalps. Pedi being foot, foot palps? The ants have uncovered a whip spider hiding beneath the leaf litter. It will need to be dealt with before excavations can continue. Oh yes, most certainly. When I mentioned we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was desperate. All right, so we are dealing with our refuse. We gotta have more leaves coming in though. We've taken care of a lot of the bad guys. We have plenty of fungus to work with. Let's grab, let's grab, let's, let's make a major. Let's put a major back here. Let's put two majors back here. Just because we've got enough food Several to do so. Several meters south of the nest, a legion of nomadic Eseton Berkeley army ants are preparing to march. They set up camp late last night, and will now conduct daily swarming raids on the surrounding areas until they see fit to move on. This humble leafcutter stronghold will soon lie directly in their path. Sounds fine to me. Let's get our majors in our group one. Ooh, this music. The army ants have arrived. They will sweep eastward, swarming everything they find. The army ants have arrived. The bar at the top shows how close. Our main objective, by the way, is push the army ants back. The bar at the top, this bar right here, I suppose, shows how close they are getting to your nest. And at set intervals, they will move their line closer to your nest. Kill army ants to push back the line. Ooh, it's like a reverse tug of war. It's more like a Kamehameha versus a Gallic gun kind of thing, you know? Energy blast contention. Larvae filled ant colonies are particularly ripe for culling. Only a substantial defensive force with the right tools to repel the aggressors will be left alone. The leaf cutters must prove to the invaders that they are more trouble than they are worth. <laughs> oh, I will, I will certainly be able to do that. Put some refuse piles down here. We'll get ready for this stuff. Actually, let's let's do what we have to do first. And first place our media ant nursery there. I'm gonna get some media ants. We've got a couple of majors. If the army ants can be pushed back beyond leafcutter territory. They will likely give this area a wide berth until it's time for them to relocate their nest. Okay, I don't really want to go on the offensive yet. We don't have to worry about them coming toward us quite at the moment. So let's get group one here and um, how do we want to actually break into this? Do I want to do... Here's what I sort of want. If I could manage this... Let's see if we can get to this individual, take him out. It's really central. It's in the central portion of our colony. We need this out of the way. Spider that cannot get away from us! <laughs> Predators yeah. are loose in the nest. Kinda. Oh well, my must god! Oh my god, those guys look fierce! And there's so many! Look at the mini-map! I'm not gonna win this mission. Occasionally, scouts will head out from the swarm frontier in search of live prey for the horde. Yeah, yeah. If they find anything of significance, they will call for reinforcements. A battalion of soldiers can respond in seconds. Oof. The smaller army ant workers and mediae are capable, but simple creatures with low health but a stronger attack. Okay. 
So, the army ants. Do I get to control army ants at some point? They're in the game, obviously I do. Oh my god, I didn't even consider the possibility that we'd get to control army ants later. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, leaf stores, leaf stores. We're gonna need some more of that stuff. Where? Ah, uh, this is one of those spiders. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I want a more central area, a more central leaf storage area right here. So we're gonna kind of put this here. Um, and if I do this right, we can. Well, let's not let's not let's not spread ourselves too thin. I find that I tend to do this to myself in strategy games. I have ideas and I try and enact them all at once. Let's not fall prey to that particular set of uh weaknesses of mine so let's continue to build see i hadn't even finished building this pod yet and i'm already considering uh, expanding this making this no let's finish what we set out to do first and we'll adapt as time goes on once this reaches the line here they will move further east can i i, I cannot possibly attack them let's see which plants have the most this plant has six oh this has this plant has 615 let's put our pheromone marker right there Army ant majors are large, strong, and powerful. As well as causing threat, their attacks boost the damage of nearby army ants, making them extra deadly in large groups. Do not underestimate them. The army ants are extending their foraging activities. Space is running out. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. God, I want this soundtrack for like my life, like while I'm brushing my teeth and stuff. Be the most ep everything feels epic with this. I'm gonna listen to this while playing League. I'm not even kidding, dude. <laughs> okay, I like where we've got our refuse set up here. Wait, what are you? What were we doing with this group? Oops. Whoa! Oh, that's just one of that's my major at the top of a plant. I thought he was just colossal. I thought it was just a colossal enemy ant. Mm, do we have more food coming in? We are gathering from that big plant. Hit spacebar on one. There's still plenty of food on that plant, but only one can be harvested. Like only a few ants can be on a certain plant at a time. We may consider making group two, uh, making this next pod group two and having them kind of pick up small little clusters like this while group one tries its best to collect what it can. Oh, these guys are super close to me. Let's keep building up our forces. Group two will be critical here. So we need to grow it. Okay, our major, which can stun, just took out like a little scout. I believe that was a scout. Oh, we don't want to mess with these guys. Leaf cutters have been spotted by a scout. <laughs> if it escapes, it will call for reinforcements. And we're fighting a, a thorn mail bug. I think we killed the scout though. Again, group two is going to be crucial. I love what we learned in the previous mission. To create refuse piles by our nurseries. All right, let's keep going. I want another major in this fight before before I have to push these guys back, before they reach this next green line. Uh-oh. The bar changed status. Are they coming for me now? Stores are full. Okay, we can do some upgrades. We'll be able to hold plenty more leaves. We are taking care of refuse perfectly fine. And I kind of want to move out and attack them and push the bar back some already. All right, we've got media ants now. Let's continue to grow. You know what? Let's get another small pod, maybe here. I'll have to take that out eventually. Uh, another small pod of majors. That'll work. Maybe we can even... Uh... That should be enough. I don't need to connect it here. I just don't want the pathing to get weird with that. But if they do connect, that could still be useful as a, a joint refuse pile. All right, is it you for majors? It is you for majors. I'm gonna want to, so we have to wait for 50 fungus to be built up. 
Okay, group one and two. Let's go ahead and place another one of these down. Group one, are you still gathering? You guys are still climbing up plants. Group two, how are you doing? You need to gather more things. Get further out there while we wait for these majors, which are going to be your majors, group two. <clears throat> I sort of want maybe another pod of workers. Where can we set those up? Close to the queen seems fairly ideal. We can branch out like maybe here. Yeah, that seems fine. Let's do some workers. Why? Because I want a number of... I, I want more nurseries cheaply because I want more minims. So let's get us some minims. And workers in the process. Oh, we had enough food. And thanks to that fairly large spending spree, the red bar jumped up. But thanks to the fact that we've collected, or that we've uh, set up a good system of waste As extraction. Sets in, the army and foraging activity begins to settle. Okay. The Aceton forces are reconvening to join a giant bivouac formed of their own bodies where they will wait out the night. What? Let me read that. The, the Aceton forces, I guess that's army ant, are convening to join a giant, what? Bivouac formed of their own bodies where they will wait out the night. Okay, so army ants gather and just form a big ball called a bivouac? Formed of their own bodies where they will wait out the night. Is a bivouac like a defensive structure? Is that it? Is that what we're talking about on the minimap? For the Atas, this is the perfect opportunity to stockpile leaves. Ah, okay, so we get a night to stockpile. All right, we weren't really under threat from the army ants on that first day. We just saw what they do. Again, phenomenal game design. The first wave, the first day, which we were told is going to be a threat, and it was. It was dangerous. There was a ton of army ants on the map, man. If you didn't play cautiously, it could have been dangerous. But the first day was kind of a hand me. It was kind of a freebie. It shows what happens. We got to see what happens as the bar progresses. And we got to see the numbers of them to be rightfully intimidated and to also give us the kind of information we need to know what we need to be prepared. Really good game design. Anyway. For the Atters. This is the perfect opportunity to stockpile leaves. Well then, what say we do exactly that? Uh, group 2 gets, is going to get its own set of workers. They don't need to be anywhere else. Group 1 is still gathering out has here. Begun. Ooh, there's another big plant. Turn that off. Battle has begun. Oh, they ran into one of my majors. The major handled that, that rove beetle with no problem. Rove horse, cow attacker, whatever they're called. Cow attacker. Uh, we could wander out here, but we don't need to. Let's just collect all the stuff in the north. Let's stockpile leaves. And if uh, we're going to spend the night stockpiling leaves, let's upgrade our stockpiles, right? See? We also should be upgrading our actual fighting capabilities right now. Numbers of ants is fine, but... Um... Wait, what, what color is this? Is this our... Yeah, that's the correct color of nursery. We're going to upgrade our media ants. I think they're going to be most vital in fighting off the enemy. Wait, group one, you didn't need to go out here. Group one, go for this. We're going to have to get through some bad guys to do this. Actually, group one can come down this lower ground and just eat all of this small stuff up first. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, group 2 seems to be done here. Come on up here and grab what you can. It's a small pocket, but that's what Group 2 is for. Group 2 is for picking up those smaller pockets. Now, 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 now. Upgrading our media ants. This group? Where is this group's pod? The battle has begun. There it is. Another battle has begun. Where? Doesn't matter. I think we're just taking them out. It's just the nighttime forces. Another upgrade for these guys. Is this worker pod? Let's see, media ants, that's that pod. We only have two pods of seven for media ants, and they are getting significant upgrades. We'll upgrade the majors too. That's kind of dangerous. That requires a lot of resources, but might very well be worth it considering they stun the enemy. We have workers. Um I don't know if work I don't know if upgrading the workers is worth it, but they are fighters in an army. So it does seem like that's kind of okay keep the upgrades going for our media ants as we get the food to do so remember it's it's 80 each time and 150 each time for the majors all right things are quiet this evening i have room i can make i can make another pod of media hmm 
Let's look around and be decisive here. Um, we can get here. our ants can move this way and go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, we don't want to cut in there. We want to do like this. There. Just like that. We have food. Let's get some more uh, media ants in that. Uh, this was going to be a refuse pile for the majors here, this area, but I think it's actually going to be just another group of majors. Nah, maybe we just want two big groups. We'll grow what we have, which means we add a major here. And where is the other one? There it is. Add a major. And if we're doing that, yeah, let's go ahead and add some refuse back here. Y for the media ants. The Y key, I mean. And we'll place more. All right, we, we, we've been spending a lot. Some of my ants are getting sick because some of this stuff is a little bit in the way. We're going to keep stockpiling leaves. Group one is doing a fantastic job. Group two, they're about to finish up out here, grabbing all the long range stuff. We can probably have them move out there afterward. Uh, we have another pod of... Oh, right. I was going to make a third group, wasn't I? Where's these guys? There they are. Let's keep them going. It wouldn't hurt to have some ants... Have some media ants in the nest, maybe. But I intend to, uh, to take the fight to the army ants soon enough. I want to push them back on that bar. Oh, that's what we have to do. Push the army ants back. It's not like this is a survive for a certain number of days kind of mission. It's just about pushing those army ants back. Mm, a backlog of refuse is is uh, it seems to be mounting. I think we can sort of mitigate that by upgrading our refuse piles in various locations. Preferably the ones next to the media ant nurseries or even the worker nurseries. Okay, where's the media? I forget what color media are. They're the green, not the blue. They're the greenish color. Wait, no, not really. They're kind of greenish and bluish, depending on the light. Whatever. These are good. It's good to upgrade those. Wouldn't mind a few more minims. I wouldn't mind another couple of majors. So here comes a major. The jungle stirs. The sound of panicked arthropods running from danger can be heard throughout the leaf litter. <laughs> the ant birds are circling overhead. The swarm has returned. All right, let's gather as many leaves as we can. Group two, just come back home. Group two, we're going to clear. Actually, no, group two, go out here and grab this real quick. And group one, if you can make it out here, do so. We're going to have to take the fight to the army ants pretty soon. Um, there we go. Our refuse piles, now that they're upgraded, are going to work on that red bar. Feels good. The green bar is building. Okay, and we have a group of four media ants. Where is that... If I click these guys, if I right click these guys, control click these guys, I would love it if I, if I clicking on them down here in the command card, jumped you over to their nursery. That would be great. That would be wonderful. Wonderful. More game design talk. I love game design. Oh, did I just remove one? That's not what I wanted to do. Is this the correct? The ants will yes. fight to the death. Of course they will. Oh, you ran into a major. Sorry about that, buddy. Not good for you, not good for you. All right, so the army ants are ready to push toward me. We have built up a couple of pretty sizable groups. Now I need to choose a place to attack them. We don't want to attack them right in the middle of the line. We want to kind of flank them. Group one, group two, return please. Once you guys are done grabbing whatever you can and storing stuff, we are going to take the fight to the army ants. And what is this, why is this all red? This is a huge block, a huge red square here, but I'm not sure what it's indicating. Is this their booth? Whatever they called it earlier. It does look like it's like a shelter or something. Okay, I'm using the mini map to determine when all of my ants have returned, and we've got a number of them already. We should begin positioning. Looks like they just move up and down on this line, so we want to attack at the edge somewhere. In group one, you will not gather food. Group two, you will not gather food. We're going to put these guys in group one and we'll move down here and attack them from the edge all right groups one and two will both move out i have to hope that they don't make some sort of a counter attack on my base now if i were making this game if i were designing this game in this mission i would put that kind of gotcha in there 
to uh, penalize players who do exactly what I'm doing right now and put all of their forces, all of their eggs in one basket. Every ant that I've made so far is in this group, except for the seven nest workers who are there for obvious reasons. What is this? Scouts. We get them. All right. Can you guys handle us? I'm keeping a, a, fungu a, a backlog of fungus on purpose for respawns. Out we go. We've collected food. We have enough An to recover. The scouting party has spotted the leaf cutters. They must not be allowed to report back to the swarm. Yeah, whatever. Nope. Come with me, my pretties. An army ant scout has reported recent leaf cutter movements back to the swarm. Enemy reinforcements are inbound. Oh, there's some. Let's push these guys back. My ants are doing okay in clearing out the enemy's ants. It's good. Is this? Oh, that is actually pushing the red bar back a lot. Okay, good. So we push them back during the day. Maybe we'll push them back to their first line too. All right. Let's move up that path. Let's pick them off one at a time. This little group of them is sort of dangerous, but we don't have to contest. We don't have to contend with them uh, in any particular fashion. My forces got split up. This is not the best, but we are pushing the enemy ants back anyway. Here comes my forces. My first. There was one major that got too far ahead. The army ants are finding the Atta colony difficult to deal with. Less troublesome prey can be found elsewhere. So we have pushed them back. I'm using the mini map right now mostly to coordinate my efforts. What is this? My boys ran into some of their boys. Oh, come on, get their worker. Is that their worker or is that mine? Oh, that's mine. <laughs> An army ant scout has spotted the leaf cutters. It must not be allowed to report back to the swarm. I do not care. Now, we spent 200 of our food, so let's start gathering food again since we pushed them back. We'll gather food uh, for the rest of the day and also for tonight. Yeah, we'll spend the rest of the day and all of the night gathering food. An enemy scouting troop has been overwhelmed by the Atta soldiers. You know what? Since my army is out here, uh, I want them to clear out these neutral bugs. Oh, we could we can't even see that praying mantis on the uh, on the map. Okay, that's good. All right, I think I think I think I can. Cutters have been spotted by a scout. If it escapes, it will call for reinforcements. It'll be fine. It'll be just fine. I want to take out these neutral mobs and grab what we can here. The Atta soldiers managed to prevent the army and scouts from returning to the swarm. Keep bringing food back. Let's keep going. Ooh, the majors are rehatching. Do we want more majors or do we want upgraded majors? See, now we have a decision to make. We do have a stockpile of food, but it's not like it's incredibly... Oh, you know what? Only a certain number of ants can be on a plant at a time. Maybe we want a bunch of smaller gathering groups rather than just one large trail doing it. Okay. And if that's the case, let's build up another... Let's get another pod of media ants. Okay, okay, okay. Group two, actually, come in here, and let's start clearing some of these guys out. Group two seems to have four of its ants presently on the way to this marker. Okay, works for me. Good job, group two. Let's cut this open. Group two doesn't have any workers. Yes, it does. Once group two's workers get here, it'll be fine, or the nest workers will realize what's happening. I do love that the majors can walk in and media ants can fit underneath them. Look at the damage that gets dealt. Predators are loose in the nest. Little late on that Army announcement. Must be protected. A little late on that announcement, friend. Uh, this was for media ants, right? So let's go something like... We'll clear this one. Y for media ants. Um, we can go as far as this. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's fantastic. Where will its refuse pile be? Well, clearly back here, right? Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. Just like that. Easy peasy. Let's drop the refuse piles back here. It's the best way. I love this little system that we've created here for this. For those of you who play this game regularly and you know what you're doing, <laughs> Um, unlike me most of the time. Uh, is this how you do your Atta colony? Or do you kind of like build in a circle? And I don't, I, don't, I don't know. What do you do? What do you do? How do you do that? 
Uh, group two, are there any other threats down here? There are, there's a lot of threats. Let's go south of the queen. This is, this is very usable space, very usable space. Let's just cut away to them. Uh, group one is still gathering. Group one is still gathering. Group one is not gathering. That's why they all stood around doing nothing because I didn't have them gathering. Oh God, you, you guys are gonna be so mad at me for that. Okay, get this dude. Get this dude next. Predators are loose in the nest. Again, a little late on that announcement. Must be protected. A little late on that announcement. I like how far far back we pushed the enemy army ants. See, I, uh... as daylight fades, the army ferries the last of the day's spoils back to the bivouac for the evening feast. They will return at first light. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. All right, group one, let's get out here and just and just gather. I like there being a large trail so that I don't have to think too much about it. Mm, group one can maintain these giants and those guys. I kind of want a group three to go somewhere that's a little bit more protected that we don't have to worry too much about. Group three, let's get you, I don't know, out here. They're just workers. Your it takes them a long time. In the nest. Where? Oh, wait, wait, we caused that. Okay. Now, group two, group two, get out there. Actually, in the same general direction as group one, just on the southern.